Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to a brand new Spark video. My name is Lana for those that are new. I make gig work content specifically for Spark. So if you wanna come along and ride with me, see how much we make today, what today could possibly hold, then make sure you keep on watching. You guys, you guys, hey, it is Wednesday. This is my first time actually turning on the app for the week. Um, so we trying to get some money today um it is about one in the afternoon so we're probably gonna work today until six or seven so we're gonna see how much money we can make in that time frame exactly what goes on today i don't know i'm in a good mood though so hopefully we have a good day it seems to be fairly busy in my area so we're gonna see just waiting on my first order i think i'm gonna go ahead and drive over to the walmart and we'll go ahead and get this day started I haven't even been on the job for an hour and already I took my lunch break just because the orders have been trashed. So just got done doing my Easy. first order delivery. Honestly, it wasn't the best because they said that they had got the orders mixed up so they were trying to sort it in my trunk. They said they got it sorted, but once I got to the first location, the lady only had 10 items. But I'm looking in the bags and I'm like, yeah, this is not 10 items. So I literally had to go through every single bag and look at the order and what she ordered and try to like figure out if it was in the other order of groceries. So that took like an extra five minutes and I still was missing like two things. So I don't know if it got refunded because they don't show you the refunded items or what. So I just contacted the customer to let her know that if she is missing anything, then just contact Walmart. It ain't my fault. That's one thing I figure like I learned learned to do. Hold on, y'all. Come on, give me some good. Y'all, no, they popping up a whole bunch of orders, but ain't talking about nothing, nothing at all. Oh, these orders suck today. Okay. So yeah, um, I just contacted her and told her to uh, contact Walmart if anything was missing and basically letting them know that it's not my fault. I don't have any of your items because I think what um, customers think is if they don't get items, they sometimes they don't look to see if items have been refunded and they just assume that the driver took it. I don't know why. Um, so consequently, they give you a bad review. So. Um, trying to keep my 4.7 or higher and um, so I just kind of let the customers know if I notice anything like I know sometimes the Walmart employees will literally like put the bread at the bottom on top of you know underneath something heavy so the bread is squished so I'll just let them know like hey um, I noticed your bread was squished um it was like that you know da, 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 da. not like trying to blame the walmart employee but just letting them know that like hey i noticed this so this is what you can do if you're not happy with this just giving them a solution because a lot of times they don't i guess know that they can get a refund or something like that so i find that that helps my rating now i haven't been getting like if something's missing or like the bread is squished or whatever um, I just kind of let them know up front so they know what to expect. Okay, so don't be mad at me um, So yeah after that order I Wasn't getting anything um, I got one which was a shop and deliver y'all I think they lower in the prices on the shop and deliver because they used to be at least 1950 this one was for $17 and 44 cents um, Oh, what we got what we got. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, that's 47 Ooh, and it's ooh. Y'all, they giving me $37.24 to go 3.1 miles, shop and deliver, but it's 47 items. And it don't show me what it is. And it's going to an apartment. Wildwood, where is that at? Yeah, I can't take that. Uh -uh. But 47 items is a lot to shop for. For $37? Would y'all take that? 37 I 47 items you got to shop for for $37 going 3.1 miles. Let me know in the comments below if y'all would take that. Ah. Hmm. It's tempting. See y'all, I you see how picky I be with my orders like literally 37 almost $40 and I'm like, mm. I know some people would just jump on it, but I'm like I really don't be trying to do that much work. 
but it seems like right now it's not too many good orders out dang 47 items that's a lot to shop for bro i don't want it i don't want to shop for 47 items i'll be in the store forever let's just hope we get some rebounded y'all i can't believe i passed that up mm. what's wrong with me <laughs> so it's it's slow it is slow right now um Okay, let's see. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. got. Y'all hear it ring it, right? So we getting orders, the order's just not good. So this order just literally popped up on my screen. I accepted it. It's $29.78 going 4.9 miles, right? Um, 20 items, one delivery. So I'm like, oh, a bet. It's an express delivery, so I guess it's getting ready right now. But the thing is, y'all, they tip $20. And so it makes me leery because it's only 20 items, so it's like, why are you tipping that much? You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? I mean, <laughs> I know some people are like really good tippers, but if you don't have a lot of items, it makes me think that it's tip bait. It makes me think that no way I'm gonna get this full $20. So I'm sitting here like, dang, okay, well, do I accept it? Do I, like, cancel it? I don't know what to do. I mean, cause, so I'm like, if I have 20 items, and then not even to, like, just the area that it's going in, it's like $20 for, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is definitely tip eight. I'd be mad if it's not and I don't take it. You know what I'm gonna do? Okay, so it's 301 right now. If it doesn't say that it's ready in like 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna just go ahead and cancel it. Um, because then that'll be the next hour and I can just get another order. So I waited until 312 and the order was still getting ready. So I didn't want to chance it. I went ahead and canceled it. But now I'm going to forever wonder, at least for today. Was that offer a tip or not? Anyway, moving on to the next order. We got a shop and deliver, $28.35, going 7.3 miles. It is a large, it's 24 items, but hopefully it's not like, you know, whatever. So, like I said, I'm already at the store, so I'm gonna go ahead, park, head in, and get to shopping. Let me run this down for you. So. The shop and deliver order we did, shopping it was perfectly fine. Um, the issue happened when it was time to deliver it. For some reason, the GPS was just dropping me off on a random street with no further instructions. So I was trying to figure it out, couldn't figure it out, called the customer so they were able to direct me. But I'm just like, literally, I can't stand Walmart Sparks GPS sometimes because it just has you going every which way. So, got that order dropped off. Thank goodness. We got another shop and deliver, $26.81. Before this $26 order, we're at $50, which for two orders is pretty good. Um, yeah, so this is another shop and deliver, 15 items, going 5.9 miles. So, I'm gonna, I'm here at the Walmart right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it started shopping, and I'll let you guys know once I get done. So, we got done with that shop and deliver, I dropped it off, it was an apartment, not too bad, I put everything in my big old grub hood bag, it was on the second floor, but it wasn't too bad, like I said, 15 items. So, turn around, and I get a 20, hold on, let me see, what is it, $23 and 60 cent order going 10.7 miles which is kind of high miles but i'm like you know what let me just go ahead and get to my 100 mark so with this order i would be at 100 dollars and so i just checked in so we're just gonna wait for the stuff to be ready and get it dropped off y'all oh two orders too all right you guys as you can kind of tell it is getting dark so it is 7:51. we are done for the day i actually ended at about 650 ish um with one last order was what was it 19 19 18 or 19 dollars going eight miles it was one single drop off super easy did that 
and we are done so let's go ahead and run it down one time for the one time all right you guys so we did a total of five deliveries yes only five um the delivery total by itself ended up being hundred and twenty dollars and then it was an incentive today so you know i gotta double dip into my incentives the incentive for the day was you complete five trips and you get an extra 25 dollars so completed my five trips and so the 25 dollar bonus that will go on to my total at midnight brings my grand total to 145 dollars for six hours that is about 24 dollars and some change an hour which is not too bad so we started off rocky i thought it was gonna be a bad day but we had some really good orders today and we ended up making a good amount of money so i didn't quit i stuck with it today and i was able to profit from it so i'm excited about that so you guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments that you liked it and if you made it all the way to the end of the video let's do a strong arm emoji okay so comment a strong arm emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video and i will see you guys next week for a brand new spark video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure the bell button is turned on so you are notified every single time i upload a video and i will see you guys next week week. Bye.